Hello friends, it is April 9th, Saturday, 2022, and I thought I would just um, let you guys uh, in on a couple of updates I've made on this um, CZ455 VPT um, before my range session tomorrow, which uh, where I'll film uh, these mods in action. So, um, probably you guys remember my, from my last video and my test drive of it, my, um, and I apologize for the dirty fingers, um, my thumb rest that I made. I test drove it last weekend. I really liked it. Uh, I liked its position mostly. What I didn't like was the sharp edges and how far it stuck out. And most of all, what I didn't like is how it chilled my thumb. And it sounds like a minor thing, but it drove me crazy. It was like the fingerprint of my thumb rather was cold the entire day. So it had to go. So I've made this one out of ABS, a little bit more ergo. Um, and it's still in kind of the rough phase because I'm going to test drive it fully tomorrow. For the dry fire that I've done on it, it's perfect, and um, I couldn't uh, I couldn't be happier right now. So that's going to get kind of a full workout tomorrow and see. But right now it is all the elements of what I was hoping for. Um, much more comfortable, a little bit slimmer. Didn't catch my thumb on it when cycling the bolt. Uh, so really pleased with it so far. And best of all, it's a uh, plastic is a little bit warmer just like the stock right like it it's uh, softer but it also is much more comfortable in my thumb so I did that also I changed the O'Dave kit out I, I was using the lightest spring turned in and the largest shim so I removed those put in the uh, second to lightest shim and spring thickest shim rather and then I staked the edges and then I've put some hot glue over each side to make sure it doesn't walk. Um, one of my um, viewers recommended Loctite and uh, I, for the life of me, I tried that. I couldn't get the Loctite from to stop running into the actual pin itself. Um, you know, if you used a Loctite blue gel, which I have, but for the life of me, I can't find. So um, that would probably keep it from seeping down in, but if it seeps down in, then it'll affect your, your pivot point. So for me, I couldn't get it to go. I thought even about, you know, putting it on one side and putting it down and driving it for 24 hours and doing the other side so it wouldn't run, but it was easier just to do it this method. So I used hot glue in this case because I want to make sure that it actually functions and then if that's actually good, then I'll epoxy it. But it's staked, it's much tighter in there and I don't think it'll walk out. And so I, I went up in spring and shim sizes just to be on the safe side. It's still an excellent trigger. I would say it's somewhere around a pound right now, I would say. So definitely good enough for this. Um, and it'll, you know, it'll wear in as time goes on. So I'm really happy with that. I also, uh, so that was kind of the main, main thing I wanted to share with you guys. I also have been working on a hybrid um, kind of uh, barricade stop, a uh, hand stop uh, slash sling mount for it. I had kind of been playing with uh, ABS um, plastic barricade stop I had made that fits in the slot. Um, uh, just playing around at home when I was doing my practice runs and I liked it, but I didn't like the way it looked and um, I really liked the option of having kind of one item to do several things So I made this guy out of a piece of aluminum and just some Kind of scrap bits. I don't have the sling swivel mount I, I was hoping for in my parts bin So I have to order it, but basically it's a piece of aluminum I cut out with a hole saw and it's got a quarter inch by 20 uh, which matches the camera adapter quarter by 20 on an Arca rail. And uh, I put a piece of ABS to protect the Arca rail just with a nut threaded through. I heat glued the end just for aesthetics for now because this will have a sling mount on it at some point, but I don't, I just don't have to order it. So for now, I'll try this out as it is. And this was uh, my motivation for this was when I was doing the, the, the runs with this last weekend, what I found was. My bipod that I have in this DIY setup runs into my mag and that's annoying because it pinches my mag but it also doesn't leave me any room to remove the magazine so really it has to be set back a little bit so I have room and that's with the factory CZ 10 shot mag when I get a like a an extension on there for extra mags it'll come out even farther so um, I had to be conscious and not slam my bipod all the way back and so basically when I made this, I wanted it to, uh, there's some threaded bosses on this rail. When I threaded it in there, I wanted to be able to 
do a few things to be a barricade stop to be a sling uh, cuff arm cuff mount and also to stop the bipod from traveling too far back to leave myself ample room so i did a few different things now in this case the sling mount is missing um you know i'll have to put that in but it, it basically has a barricade stop on it um and uh, stops the bipod from traveling too far it also has the advantage of, you know, I can remove it and I can screw it in any of the locations that this uh, rail has. Like there's one here, for example, uh, and there's one up here. So I can put it, use it as a hand stop at several different locations. So for those of you who've used a hand stop before with a sling, you know how valuable that can be. And uh, so I have basically three positions uh, right now where I can take advantage of that. Um, so anyway. That was kind of my motivation for that and like listen for those of you guys who know what a barricade stop is in the in the true sense of the word this is nothing like that but as a stop on a stock to stop it from contacting my mag that's what it is so really it's meant to do a few things you know um, jack of all trades kind of thing so i'll try it out tomorrow and we'll see how it goes i certainly like the way it looks compared to my plastic one which um there's nothing wrong with it i kind of just you know, was playing around in the house and using it on a uh, in the basement there on my, on my ladder to try it out. But basically that's what it fit on and that's what it looked like. And it accomplished the same thing except my bipod contacted it, it didn't. So this allows my bipod to go a little bit farther back. But anyway, I was playing around with it and there's, there's certainly nothing wrong with it. Just a rough cut piece of plastic and it certainly worked. But um, this was more kind of my idea to do a few different things. And the, the plastic is there to protect the rail. And so when I screw it on, it contacts the side of the rail and the nut bottoms out on the bottom of the, the rail itself. So it, it offers a couple, you know, a few different points of contact. It makes for quite a secure mounting system. But anyway, those are kind of my updates and I'm going to be trying them out tomorrow and I'll get some video of this guy and we'll see how it compares uh, feeding wise and function functionality wise to my last video with the... Um, aluminum guy it's quite a bit shorter i was or you know not as high i would say it's about quarter inch or so and it's smooth on the edges so when you're cycling the bolt it's much less like your hand has ample room whereas not every time but i would catch it on the edges so we're going to try that out tomorrow but anyway I'll stop this one here. Any comments or questions, leave them below. I want to thank you guys as always for watching. And uh, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow, hopefully with some, some video of this in action. And we'll see how this uh, this performs. In my initial chest in the in trials in the basement uh, here, seeing how this performs on a strap and ladder, it was great. It does exactly what it's supposed to. It protects the mag, limits the bipod, everything I wanted. I would like it a little bit longer, but then the bipod wouldn't be able to travel you know, basically as far back as it is, it would, it would have to stop here. And that's, that's a good inch. And so, you know, your rail gets shorter and shorter. Right? So anyway, I think, uh, I think that's well worth it the way it is. But anyway, thanks a lot guys. I'll catch you in the next one.